Okay, let's do this crazy looking algebra problem. And what we have here is some expression A over B plus C plus one over Z, all that in parentheses, and we wanna divide that by A over CZ. Okay, so how can we simplify this? What can we do here? Well, uh, you know, some of you out there might be saying, this does look pretty crazy. There's a lot of different variables, moving parts, what do I do? Well, I'm here to tell you that you gotta be able to handle a problem like this if you expect to be successful in algebra. So, you know, uh, anytime you're learning something uh, for um, the first time, so for example, this is, you know, if you're in a first year algebra course and you've never taken the topic, things like this are going to look a little crazy, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. So what I'm gonna suggest is that all of you out there that kind of think you can do this, pause the video and work on this for a couple minutes, see what you come up with, and then I'm gonna show you how to approach this uh, problem and simplify this. Now, I'm gonna kinda of go somewhat quickly uh, as I simplify this problem because uh, it, really this is gonna be an illustration on uh, things that you need to get really good at, okay? So I'll kinda of highlight some of those things, but you're gonna to wanna to follow on and do some additional work beyond this video if you're still confused. But uh, we're gonna to get to all of this in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that every single student has the potential to do very well in math, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to do the work, the second thing is a, a student needs great math instruction, super clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you happen to be preparing for a test, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, anything with a math section on it, maybe the ASVAB or a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, have excellent uh, comprehensive middle and high school math courses. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. But uh, with that being said, let's get into this crazy looking algebra problem. It's really not that bad, but uh, let's just recall when we're looking at something like this, this is an algebraic expression. These variables, A, B, C, Z, A, C, and Z, represent numbers. So sometimes if you wanna know what to kind of, let's say you're lost and you're like, I have no idea. If you just replace these here with numbers, if we, let's say we had, uh, we'll make A one, okay? We'll make B, I don't know, let's just call it three, make up a number. Uh, let's say uh, C will be two, so we'll make this a two, and let's call Z five, okay? You can just kind of rewrite this expression, and that's a kind of a good um, way to kind of see what's going on from a numeric standpoint, because remember, in algebra, you're following the same rules of arithmetic, okay? You never can lose sight of that. That's why you gotta be really good at fractions and all those basic stuff that you learn in elementary school, but let's get into this crazy algebra problem. I'm just gonna show you how to simplify it, and if you're lost, you're gonna have to kind of continue to follow through on some of this stuff, but let's take a look at uh, this problem. Okay, so we have A over B plus C plus one over Z. Let's address what's in the parentheses. So I have this fraction, okay, or variable expression, rational expression, there's a lot of uh, technical names, you don't have to get crazy about it, it's a fraction plus another fraction. So how do we add these two fractions? Well. If you haven't checked out some of my videos on fractions, you definitely need to do this. This is something called um, the bow tie method, one of the easiest ways to deal with fractions when you're adding or subtracting fractions. I'll just illustrate this real quick. Let's say I had one half plus uh, two fifths, okay? Notice here that the denominators are different. So instead of finding the LCD, we can use what I call the bow tie method. You definitely wanna learn more about this. So check out some of my videos on fractions on my YouTube channel or just maybe you might wanna just sign up for like my pre-algebra or algebra one course, whatever the case might be. But we can go like this, five times one is five plus, okay? Two times two is what? That's four, that's our numerator. And then two times five is 10. So the answer here is nine tenths, okay? I don't have to uh, rewrite both of these fractions uh, using the LCD. Of course, you need to know how to do that, but uh, you need to learn this bow tie method because it's gonna save you a lot of um, um, you know, frustration or additional work when you're dealing with fractions in algebra. So let's go ahead and apply that same thing here. So this is gonna be Z times A is what? A, Z. We're forming the numerator here. 
plus, okay, we're adding, this is going to be 1 times b plus c. And this is going to be kind of in parentheses right there. So 1 times b plus c is simply b plus c. That is our numerator. And then our denominator is going to be b plus c times z. Okay, so I can write that as z times b plus c. And there you go. So that's probably the one of the most difficult parts of this problem for those of you out there that may not know what to do. All right, so we just added these two fractions, but we're dividing it by this fraction here. So we're just going to take this thing one step at a time. So we started, um, we added these two fractions. Now let's go ahead and address this division part. Okay, so we'll remember, when you're dividing fractions, we take division and we turn it into multiplication. And the, um, how we do that is we flip the fraction to the right of the division sign, okay, so the division operator. So this fraction, A over C, we're going to flip it upside down or uh, find the reciprocal. Just going to flip it. So this CZ is going to go to the numerator and A is going to go down to the denominator. And this becomes multiplication. Okay, so here we have our uh, previous expression, AZ plus BC over Z over B plus C. And this is how you want to um, write your work. You just want to take it one step at a time. Don't be impatient. If you go quick and you want to try to do too many steps at once, you're not going to be track what you're doing. Your teacher won't understand and you're going to make mistakes. Okay. All right. So now we have to do what? Well, we have one fraction and we're multiplying it by another fraction. Okay. So how do we multiply fractions? Hopefully remember, let's say you had one half times three sevenths. How do you multiply fractions? Again, uh, things that you should know, we just simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So in this case, it would be three over 14. Okay, that basic numeric example. And uh, one thing, again, I, I'm going to keep highlighting this. If you, if you struggle with expressions like this in algebra, take a simple example and replace the variables with numbers and think about the mechanics there, you know, the uh, arithmetic that you need to do, and then come back and start working with the variables. But in this uh, situation, we have one fraction multiplied by another fraction. So we're just going to simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this would be CZ times this. And the way we want to write that is CZ. We'll keep the parentheses AZ plus B plus C. And then this is going to be A times this. So that would be A times Z. So that's AZ times B uh, plus C. Okay. All right. So uh, you were getting kind of down to the wire here. Almost done. At this point, hopefully you see that we have a Z here and a Z here. All, this, all these right here are separated by multiplication. This is C times Z, and this is being multiplied by this expression in parentheses. So these are factors, meaning that I can actually cross-cancel those Zs. Okay? Now, I need to be, uh, be very clear here because uh, one, a very common mistake is that students want to, so let's say, uh, cross-cancel these Cs. They're like, well, you can cross-cancel these Zs. Why can't I take out these Cs? Well, you cannot do that, or I can't take out these Bs because this is, these are separated by addition signs, okay? These are, this is a sum, okay? These are not factors. You can cross-cancel common factors, not things. This is one of the most common mistakes in algebra. I've done so many videos on this because I feel like i got to continue to stress this. If I have X plus Y over X, it is so tempting you know, to um, uh, students to be like, oh, I want to get rid of these X's. I could just do that like that. And I'm just left with the Y. I'm sure I made that uh, mistake way back in the good old 1980s when I was taking algebra. Well, of course, I don't remember anything about it, but I definitely know I made that mistake because this is a very, very common uh, misunderstanding. Okay. You cannot do this. All right. But um, what you can do is if you have X times Y, those are, now this is, these are two things. This is multiplication. These are factors of a product over X, now I could cross cancel. So here, that's why you could cross cancel the Z, but you can't take out these C's or B's. And so you're left with this expression right here. Now, if I was your math teacher and you gave me this, I, uh, in return, would give you a nice little happy face in A plus and 100%. I would say, uh, nice job. But if you wanted to take it to uh, another level, you could distribute this C into all this uh, stuff here on inside the parentheses, and same thing with this A, and you could even write your answer like this. That would be C A Z. Uh, so this C is going to be multiplied by that C times this would be B C, and C times that C is C squared, and then A this would be A B, and then A times that C would be A C. So this is another way 
uh, you could write your answer. But uh, whether you gave this to uh, your final answer, this or this, I would in turn give you a nice uh, little happy face. Matter of fact, I might even hook you up with a good old 1983 uh, mohawk haircut, okay, which was pretty cool back in the day, just like your ability to uh, handle this problem. But remember, if you didn't cross-cancel these Zs, if you left these Zs in here like that, well, then I would give you um, partial credit, okay, especially if you showed all the steps. I might give you like a 7 out of 10, all right? But this is so easy. If you understand this stuff, you can, you know, you know what I'm showing you here is the difference between someone getting a B and an A in algebra, all right? Okay, so again... Uh, this seems like a crazy problem, but this is stuff that you're going to have to know how to handle in algebra. And uh, the way you you know you learn this stuff is just one skill at a time, one problem at a time. Uh, if you're confused by this, you know you're like, okay, that was a lot of stuff. Well, that's just good feedback for you to kind of start learning how to handle fractions and uh, working with variables. But this is algebra, and you're going to need to know how to do things like this. It's not that difficult, okay? Just give yourself time to learn these skills. And uh, so let me give you a couple of suggestions. One, um, uh, there's tons of videos on my YouTube channel that you might want to check out if you haven't seen, especially on fractions that really kind of get into this bow tie method. And then, of course, if you're in an actual algebra course, I, you might want to check out my full algebra program. I get into stuff way deeper than I do in my YouTube videos. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.